Hey everyone, David Atkins, Target Individual. So today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to, I need to make a statement uh, to the community. Also, uh, I'm going to do something positive today um, and give a little positive message afterwards. So my statement to the community is this is not a competition. YouTube's not a competition for me. Um, you know, sure, I like YouTube followers. I like YouTube subscribers. I like people to watch my channel. But the reason I like them to watch it is to educate themselves on what's going on and the horrors and atrocities committed against innocent people on a daily basis. Um, it's not to gain popularity. It's not to be a popular person in the TI community um, or none of that. You know, I, um, I'm a very humble person when it comes to that. I really don't care about that. My thing is getting this word out about the atrocities and, um, you know, because I've, you know, there's been some people come to me and say, well, look, these people thinking you're getting more viewers and all this. And, you know, I've even been called a gatekeeper. I, I have, I hate to tell you, I'm not a gatekeeper. The way I get my videos out and beat the algorithm is I'm in like all these communities and on Facebook and Twitter and stuff. I'm a member of them. So I go and post my videos, take my time and post my videos like 60 different places when I'm done with them. And that way, it beats the algorithm and they still get viewed. Other than that, uh, you know, my channel is basically shadow ban. Um, but, uh, uh, and also interviews and stuff, you know, if any, I'm not in no competition doing interviews. Uh, I'm not trying, I'm not taking nobody's viewers. People saying you're taking people's viewers and they're getting mad. That's not the goal here. You know, I support every TI channel, every real TI channel. And everybody trying to help TIs. I support them as a whole. I hope they do just as good as me, if not better. Uh, the more people that get the word out, the better. And anybody will tell you, anybody, most people I've interviewed, I, I suggest to them that they have a YouTube channel. So just letting y'all know, this is not a competition for me. This is serious. This is information war um, that needs to be exposed by as many people as can expose it. So um i'm not trying to take nobody's viewers and none of that you know I, I could care less about that all i'm trying to do is get the word out about atrocities and horrendous actions being committed against innocent civilians on a daily basis lives being stolen weapons being used on them uh not supposedly non-lethal weapons but they're very lethal uh you know burning people shocking people vibrating people torturing people in their houses this is what this is about exposing this stuff being done to people this ain't no competition this is serious this is too serious and anybody who's in competition on youtube is uh as a ti is is doing the wrong thing we should all be working together here so anyway i'm going to get into something different today like i said i'm going to read a bible verse if y'all stay with me real quick i got a message um and then i'm going to read uh one of them things i always read one of them positive things well i'll Start that first, then I'll read the Bible verse and get into my message. And I'd appreciate if you would, uh, you know, just listen to me with an open mind. Thanks. Most people have no idea there are groups of extremists stalking regular people, adversaries who control people's lives through intimidation. It is important to step out of the box, away from our basic daily existence of nothingless. We grow sad thinking about how, not having meaningful conversations anymore. If it means treating our tummy to a bowl of soup at the local deli, we can step out for a while. We do it because it will make us feel good about ourselves. These little hurdles will empower us if we get through the anxiety of being out in public. If we can get through the anxiety of being out in public. A stranger may spark up a 10 cent conversation with us. On the rare occasion that someone does, we will recognize a red flag if the topic unfortunately spills over onto sex or if the person appears to be talking loudly and the feel for conversation is not genuine our spirit will nudge us. We refuse to feel badly about what it probably was, a, what was probably a setup. We train our mind to focus on how we have done something positive. Consequently, when we go back to living within, we feel better for stepping out and walking through the fear. We did it. Today, today I will get out and do something different myself. If I run into a perp, I will not react to their psychological torment, but rather wear the experience like a loose garment. And, you know, that's coming from the pot calling the kennel black. I haven't been out of the house in a long time. Um, and, uh, you know, when I, I will one day, and when I finally do, you know, I think I'll feel better. But all right. So now here's my message. And then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Always pray and don't give up. Anybody, and if you're not a Christian, I respect you. I'm not better than you, but I have a lot of viewers that are Christian, and I'm 
I'm a follower of Christ. I don't call myself a Christian. I call myself a follower of Christ. So um, I'm trying to give this message real quick because God put it on my heart to give. Somebody needs to hear this right now and it will connect to the person who needs to hear it. Then Jesus told the disciples, this is coming from Luke 18, a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Jesus talked in parables. So this parable here he's given um, <clears throat> is going to show you an example of how good God's love is for us and how God just wants us sometimes not to give up. Okay, in certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared what people thought. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me some justice against my adversary. For some time, the judge refused. But finally, he said to himself, even though I do, don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this woman, widow, keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see they get justice quickly. However, when the son of man comes, will he find faith on the earth? This earth's getting corrupt. And I'm not saying that we're chosen ones. Um, I don't buy into the chosen one stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, because I, I just don't see... You know, there's 144,000 chosen ones in, uh, in the way, according to the Bible. And there's a, a lot, there's millions of uh, TIs out there. So, you know, I just can't fathom the chosen one thing. But anybody who uh, uh, thinks that way, so be it. You know, it's okay to disagree. The thing I'm getting at is don't give up. If it's on your heart to pray. The other day we had a cat missing for several days. I'm talking about about a week. And it wasn't, it was unlike her to be missing. So I just said out loud, and this happened. I said out loud, I said, God, please, um, uh, if uh, our cat, um, if Grey Girl is uh, uh, dead or something, please let us know if she she's okay. We hadn't seen her in seven days, nowhere. Every time we feed her, she was nowhere. So about uh, two minutes later after I said that prayer, she showed up. Now, you can think that was a coincidence or whatever, but um, I really think God was showing us, Hey, it's okay. Stop worrying about her. She's okay. Um, cause, and I, and I just said it like this, God, just like I'm doing right now, God, if a uh, great girl's okay, please let us know too late. Two minutes later, she showed up out there. So, and we hadn't seen her in days. So, um, just showing you how God works. Don't be afraid to pray and don't be afraid to be persistent. It says, uh, and I'm going to remind you right here and then I'm going to close. Uh, there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says, and will not God bring about justice for the ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see they get justice quickly. However, when the son of man comes, will he find faith on earth? Faith is diminishing. You know, this is a, um, getting perilous times, but anyway, I just wanted to get on here since I had an interview cancel on me. I was all ready for an interview and then boom, at the last minute he canceled. Um, and you know, my V2K tried to tell me, oh, well he canceled. They're just wasting your time, but I don't believe that wasting my time. I think the dude was very sincere and really, really in his heart, uh, was getting hit and had to cancel. However, I do think there has been a couple schedule interviews and then cancel just to waste my time, but it's all, it's all good. Even if that happens, um, I'm still, um, I'm, I see myself as a shepherd in the TI community, just trying to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Expose and, um, help people out and just try to be there for people. And also if, uh, if you message me or, uh, um, if, if you're one of the people who know my contact information or something and you message me, um, uh, anyone will tell you, it may take me two or three days to answer you, but I will always answer my messages. Um, so don't get upset. Don't think that, uh, well, he don't like me or he's a perp cause he's not answering me right away. No, no, no. That's just me. Sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going through torture too. I, I deal with V2K 24 seven. I get hit with weapons. Um, uh, the street theater outside, I try to ignore. But what I'm saying is uh, every day in here is not a cakewalk for me. So there's days I don't even feel like talking to nobody. So it's nothing against you. Just letting y'all know that too. And uh, 
be patient on interviews. Um, I'm, I got uh, quite a few people that emailed me the other day um, for interview, and I not forgot about y'all. I got it on the list, and I'm trying to stay organized and all that. And uh, But you know I deal with B2K 24-7 and get hit too, so just bear with me and be patient. You will get interviewed, I promise you. So anyway, God bless all TIs. Uh, I'm hoping y'all having the best day you can have as a TI. God bless.